After putting in the work to get healthy, Wade arrived in Vegas with Team USA, eager to show his teammates and the world that Flash was back. It was a, a progression, you know, each day. He got better, he got stronger, he had more confidence in his uh, ability to explode. And so, to watch where he was at the beginning of camp and where he was when we began the Olympic Games for real, he had come a tremendous way. LeBron got hurt in our, before our first exhibition game. We started Dwayne against Canada. And he made a couple moves in that exhibition game where all of his teammates just rose up and said, yeah. And even Dwayne knew, you know, I'm not only back, I think I'm, I might be back at a higher level. And he got that support from his teammates. And then once you saw that, yeah, I, I knew we were going to have a better chance of winning the gold medal. There's many different moments that, you know, that proved to, my, to me that I did on the court. And I, you know, I say, wow, like, okay, here it come, or it's coming, or it's there. Um, I mean, just playing the first game, you know, that we played in Vegas before we took off you know, against Canada, you know, to not have played a game in a while in the atmosphere and to play 15 minutes, score 20 points in the game and do some of the things I did, I was like, well, you know, at least I know I haven't forgot how to play this game. And, um, and that just gave me confidence for the next one and then the next one and then the next one. And um, I got to start feeling better and better and better, um, you know, as the summer went on. Man, when you see highlights from what he was doing for us in the Olympics, it's... It's, it's crazy. I think we was in, in Macau, China, and we was playing, I think, um, Lithuania. And we had a breakaway late in the game. I think it was Chris Parr or Dan Williams, and they threw a lob to D-Wade. Um, and, and he windmilled it. He windmilled caught it, looked at the rim, kissed it, and he threw it down. That was one of the plays. And then another play, um, he was playing turkey. He had the ball on the right side. He let the guy go through. Then he came and dunked it again, and all of us on the bench was like, yeah, he back, he back. Just to see that he was playing, you know, comfortably out there, he was just being himself. Um, you know, I, sometimes you expect guys to, to kind of take a while to get back in the groove of things, but he pretty much stepped right in, and he was he was playing like he normally does. It was great to see D-Wade get back to the player here. You know, uh, a lot of people wrote him off, which I know probably pissed him off, you know, underneath, and just nobody could can really stop him from getting to the basket. He got to the basket at will. Um, you know, was getting him passing lanes, getting steals, going for dunks. He was our leading scorer. You know, he came off the bench with a reckless abandon, came out there, dunked on people, got, you know, four or five steals every game, made a huge impact on both sides of the ball. And a lot of times, he was the difference in us being up by four and then going up by 20. You know, when he came in the game, the whole defensive uh, presence just picked up. Wanted to come off the bench. It was his way of saying, "I'll do anything that you want me to do." I mean, even though it was a different role than I've ever played before, not only not, not only coming off the bench, but you know, I really never played without having the ball in my hand um, at all. So I had to find a way to be effective. He did an unbelievable job of coming off the bench and being that spark that we needed. It was all about doing it for the better of the team. It was all about doing it for that goal to get to to get the goal. And um, I, you know, I, I found my way of being effective. If he didn't like a glove, he was willing to accept that role. And, uh, you know, whether you start or whether you come off the bench, in many ways you could say, who's out there at the finish uh, when the game's on the line? And most often you would have seen Dwayne Wade on the floor. It was all about making sure that our team was better when I stepped in the, on the court. Team USA's road to redemption meant nothing short of winning a gold medal. So when the final game against Spain was on the line, Dwayne Wade, again, wasted no time seizing the moment on the biggest stage. It was big shot after big shot. I mean, Spain has won, then we had won, and, you know, it was just back and forth, and my nerves were bad. Even if, even though I was playing and everything, my nerves were pretty bad. I was able to um, get an offensive rebound. I remember it perfectly. I got the rebound almost by the free throw line. Seen D. Wade out of my peripheral vision and kicked it to him on the left-hand side, and, you know, he didn't think about it. D. Wade went up and... You know, held that foul through and knocked him down. When I saw that ball go through the net, I mean, it was just like, you know, yes. Like, this is what, you know, I've been waiting for at this moment. And when you see that shot going in for D-Wade, it just makes you think, we got we got this. This is going to be our gold medal. It was such a clutch shot. And when he hit that three, you know, we could feel it. One of the biggest shots from, 
find basketball Olympics. It just topped off an unbelievable summer for not only our team, but for him. I mean, you know, they questioned would D-Wade even be on that team, but uh, he, he was unbelievable, you know, from day one to the last day. Just to see him blossom, you know, on the biggest stage, you know, possible, which is the Olympics. And I felt that, you know, without him and a lot of the, well, all the games that we played, you know, we probably went out of gold medal. It just was so special to me. And, you know, I didn't cry on the outside, but on the inside, you know, it was a lot of emotion going through my, through my body and through my mind. When we knew that we won in those last few seconds and, you know, you're hugging different players and all of a sudden I'm there hugging Dwayne and he says to me, Coach, thanks for believing in me. I mean, I just, I, I get shivers right now thinking of, that's the kind of guy he was. And I, I said, are you kidding me? You know, you're so easy to believe in. Thank you.